Yeah, okay. All right, so we have a special guest today. For our interview, we have an Emmy Award-winning news anchor who is also the most experienced, most senior, and most well-known anchor in Las Vegas. Self-described as a huge tech fan, which has been confirmed by Mike Cow. He said he looked at your <laughs> office, and you do have every tablet and every version of every tablet sitting on it, so I like that. And uh, today, so uh, you guys might recognize him from 8 News Now. He's one of the main anchors there, and um, he's done some of the tech stories that covered downtown Las Vegas, so please... Put your hands together for David Corvassier. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Hi, Dave. So you know, you know we play hardball around are, are here. Are we live? Is this live TV now? Yeah, you're live. Oh, wow, okay. <clears throat> Actually, well, it'll be edited. Make so up. I'll edit my stupid <laughs> things, but I'll find all of yours, so don't worry. All right, but this is the uh, this is the table of truth. We play hardball around here, I like so it. I don't. I want you to know that you're not getting off the hook. Okay. There's none of your fancy makeup people, <laughs> none of your legions of fans, right? No, I'm just kidding. I love giving softballs, okay, no, no, man. No, that's softballs. cool. That's cool. I can take it. Okay, so what do you think of the audience? What do you think of the Very crowd? Very nice. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah this is great. It's a good, good, good crowd. Very nice. Come and show up. Okay, and what do you think about downtown Vegas? What do you know? Have you done the tour? Look, you know, downtown Vegas has, has struggled for so long. I think the whole community is excited about seeing Tony move in and, and get the support and the, supporting you guys. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's going to transform the downtown. People are really excited about it. Good. I'm glad. What is, so, I mean, tell me, what do you hear? What's well, we, outside you know, of these walls? Uh, well, we've covered it several times on our news about your organization, about uh, the various uh, offshoots and the entrepreneurial spirit down here. The, just the fact that uh, different businesses downtown are being affected by Tony's moving into the old city uh, headquarters. Right. You know, that just has a ripple effect. And, and um, you know, th there's been a number of stories over the last couple of weeks that we've done. Um, th they're all encouraging to us because we've seen... The Las Vegas downtown as kind of a seedy place in some right. ways, and and it's nice to see it come around. Yeah, no, I, I mean that yeah. makes sense. Well, so have you? Uh, when is the last time you did like a little podcast like this? I mean, is it? Uh, I mean, do you remember back when you were small time, or is it just, <laughs> just not a not thing? <laughs> You know, uh, I haven't done a lot of podcasts, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nor do I often get to see a live audience. I'm, you know, looking at a camera most of the time. Yeah. So, uh, although I do a lot of live events as an MC or an, or an event producer, um, it's it's neat to have people right here in the room staring at me yeah. with two eyes. And and you do a lot of voice because I, you know what I really liked about our pre-interview was that uh, you have a little bit of entrepreneur spirit. Um, you definitely right. have had your own kind of brand. So tell us about what you're doing as an entrepreneur and what you've learned when well, it comes to your voiceover. Well, that's what this logo is. I, I go by Corvo in the voiceover universe, and I, I started yeah. doing uh, voiceovers about seven or eight years ago because I saw a retirement heading my way in the next five, ten years, and I wanted something like a transition from broadcasting into something that I could do anywhere, um, in my bedroom, in my pajamas, right. and it would be, uh, you know, not a lot of money, but enough to keep me going. And, and it's been just great because broadcasting is such a... Uh, kind of a dog-eat-dog -dog competitive world. VoiceOver, as it turns out, is a very supportive, encouraging community and uh, just really loving the people and the relationships I'm, I'm finding there. Okay, so, so basically this is just you, right? I mean, Bill, yeah, go here, me. are you building like an ecosystem or anything no, for it? No, it's or? pretty much just me. Okay, okay that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> now, I mean, now I've sure, and, really. And yeah. I've chosen to, to do most of my marketing, all of my marketing, on social media. So, oh, good. You know, I, I was an early adopter. I, I signed on to Twitter in 07 and, mm -hmm. and uh, really, you know, tried yeah. to... LinkedIn, I added all those as they come along, and it's working for me. It's really turning some jobs. Yeah, and so what are some of the lessons you learned along the way that might help other entrepreneurs? Oh, gosh. Uh, Especially pay, people working on their personal brand, maybe, I, too. See, I, yeah. I blog five days a week for the voiceover community, and, and I found that paying it forward really reaps its own dividends. Um, just offering free information, experience, links, anytime I can, and it comes back to you many fold over the years. Okay, the give first mentality, yep. I like that. It makes a lot, that's how a lot of things around here run too. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get into your gadgets. So, I mean, you got the, you got the Microsoft Surface here. Microsoft what, Surface. Uh, like throughout time, like what were some of your favorite, do you have like a Newton or anything back in the day? Oh, or oh, like, uh, does, you have a bunch anybody, of cool gadgets you can yeah, reminisce uh, about? Anybody or? remember um, Magic, uh, General Magic? Remember that? Anybody remember mm, General Magic? Anyone uh, that? Yeah, hey, what, how about that? What is it? What is it? The, well, it was one of the... Right, and they, they formed their own business, and they came out with really one of the first, um, uh, you know, like a Newton. And you still have it? Uh, oh, yeah. It's oh, about that eBay thick, gold, and, you yeah. know, it's about that big, but it was one of the first, you know, one of the first ones to come out. And then, of course, you know, a, a pilot, and I, I, I've used those all along, and okay. yeah, all that stuff. 
What's your fancy now? What app and tablet is? Uh, well, I, I have an iPad. I have an Android tablet, a micro Motorola Zoom. I okay. have a um, Nexus Seven, uh, Google, and I've got the uh, uh, the RT. Okay. Surface. You brought the Surface with you. Is your favorite or um, you just I'm, newest? I'm or? really trying to discover all I can do, and I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, it seems like it actually seems like a really cool product. I haven't yep. played with one very much, but um, you know, I use I use tablets all the time, and I didn't think I would actually. At first, I was like, ah, smack, right. that'd be fine, right. you know. So. I'm just waiting to see what happens with uh, with Microsoft and with uh, Apple and with Android. Now Facebook came out with their phone today, um, and I'm waiting to see what happens <laughs> this year. I'm so invested in the in the iPhone and all its apps and, and yeah. uh, that I'm don't really want to leave that. But I keep seeing the same Samsung come on pretty strong. So yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Let's see what happens. All right, so what are all those other suits that are hanging out in the newsrooms? <laughs> do they do they realize that it's going to be a lot of transition period? Oh, do you gosh. think? Um, News Aid is going to be on top of that, or like, what are you guys doing? We're to really try to trying. Stay? Our, in the audience is our uh, director of digital media, Chris Way, right here with the iPhone. Yeah, um, Chris is a genius, and he's kind of dragged us kicking and screaming into the 21st century, and we have to. There's just no way. I mean, uh, the generation that's coming up doesn't wait until five, six, or eleven right. to watch the news. They get it on their smartphone and their tablets, or both at the yeah. same time, or while they're watching the news, all three. Um, yeah. So you know, we really have to. We have a trusted brand. We have a, we have good loyalty. And we have good content. And how do you translate that into the new world and monetize it? That is the challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, so have you guys, um, I, I heard Mike Cow was saying maybe that you're starting to look at maybe using Wedgies or any of the other downtown companies. Like, would you have any loyalty to the companies down here if it made sense? Love to. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been aware. I haven't sat down with Mike long enough to, to hear about that. But, okay. but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say one thing <laughs> to this audience, and that is that I'm trying to get our boss, and I've finally got him agreed to do this, to do Google Hangouts during our all-important May sweeps period. So okay. we have investigative stories, and we're going to build off of those at the end of the newscast. We're going to invite people to a Google Hangout uh, after the news and, and carry that into the newsroom yeah. and bring in experts. And we'd invite you all to join us. My boss has a hard time with Google Hangouts because whenever we do them, uh, we end up with people from Belgium and Australia and Boston. <laughs> and he wants local Google people. He wants yeah. people from, from this community to come forward and join us. So I ask you to join us, and, and I'll try to pass that word out through this community as to when you can okay. help us, because we really want local people to join us. Yeah, and afterwards, you can send me any info you have. Yeah. We'll put it up here on things. So high five me. I get right, a job on that. <laughs> like it. OK, so um, obviously, you guys are working hard. But does it make you worried at all about uh, how fast people are getting info? Because this is kind of this common theme. Yeah, well, and I'd be curious about if you're worried about the quality. It brings up, yeah, it brings up the whole idea of what journalism really is. And, and it's one of the few professions that doesn't have any accrediting or certification Right, like a right. bar or, a, you know, in nurses, welders, yeah, it's, it's teachers, they all have, it, yeah. you know, an accreditation or, or certifying a point. And, and journalists don't. I mean, any blogger can call themselves a journalist, and who's going to call them on it? I mean, some of them are really good and probably would qualify as journalists, yeah. but others... I uh, call myself a news anchor, yeah, you know? There you like, go. Like, well, I don't know. It's just <laughs> and, that easy now, you and, know? And, uh, and by the same token, I've never had a journalism class in my whole life, you know? So, right. so uh, I've, I've kind of propped myself up. I started on radio and, and worked my way up. So... You know, anybody can call themselves a journalist, but but it does matter. It does matter right. that you that you confirm your facts and that you vet your your interviews and and that you write it well. And this good content is still appreciated. Yeah. And that's what the legacy news media outlets are are still doing. They just don't know how to put it into the digital universe. Right. And I definitely see that too. I think that there's going to be that time where we all get the information first, and then we realize how mm -hmm. poor it is, and slowly start to trust right. a more trusted brand, which well, is a like, good place for eight news now to. Like, like, know, the, like the landing of that plane in the middle of the river in New York City. I mean, the first guy there with a picture was, you know, a guy with an iPhone. But, uh, you know, I think TV news still does some things better than anybody else. And one of those things is live coverage of happening events right, that are developing as, as you go. Um, and people still like to feel and see that and hear that, uh, that live coverage. And I think there's a place for it. But uh, the heyday of TV is, is past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'll be a fun new, a new world, you know, and I think, it um, I think it's cool that you came to talk to us. I'm oh. glad you're kind of exploring what's going on you around bet. here. And, uh, you know, it's real special to all of us. And it's great to see someone like you coming by. So thank you so much My for coming out. With us. Thank I you. appreciate it, Dave. Right. So. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hashtag.